like making my own laminated paper and in this video I use a simple gluing process with two different colors of the 60 gram Italian crepe paper. It is also important to work with small pieces of paper. Here you see that I cut the pieces needed for each of the three types of petals for the cherry blossom. Because the 60 gram crepe is light and delicate, it is important to use a light yet durable glue. I found in my explorations that cocoina is the best glue for this. It is a paste glue made out of potato starch which will not cause the paper to get too wet. When the paper gets too wet with regular glue, the colors bleed into each other. Tacky glue is too thick in addition to being too wet for this process. When you apply the paste glue, you just need to do it to one side. You see that the paper gets stretched a little. That's okay. Just stretch the other piece to match it and press the two papers together to get air bubbles out. Whatever creases you get are okay too. They add to the beauty of the flower if you can see them at all when you're done. The paste glue dries slowly, giving you lots of time to work with it when positioning the two pieces of paper together, especially for paper that's a little bit larger. Sometimes it helps to use a toothpick or a skewer to hold down the wet paper. You can use any tool really. Make sure you wait for the glue to dry and this can take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. For the pollen on the stamen, you can use a number of different tools to apply color. Here I'm just using a marker because it's the easiest and quite permanent. When fringing the stamen, leave about half a centimeter uncut. The purpose of fringing the tips is so that the ends are not hard straight lines. The laminated paper is strong and feels a bit stiff, but it is easy to cut through using the accordion fold technique.
Using pastel pencils of any shade of pink you like, apply color on petals A and B. Then rub the color with a folded paper towel to spread it over the petals. The stiffness of the paper makes it strong yet retains the flexibility to allow for grooming the petals. You can stretch and bend each petal to form the shape you want. For the stem, you need a wire, either number 22 or number 20. To wrap the stem, I use a strip of 180 gram Italian paper in dark khaki green, number 622. Wrap a stigma inside the stamens. You can get the stigma at cardifinia.com. They come in of many different colors. I use tacky glue to attach the petals. You can use hot glue if you want, but, but for a smaller flower like this one, the hot glue may add too much bulk and distort the form.
try to place the petals so that they are equidistant from each other. This applies for all three types of petals. For the calyx, I use the 180 gram in burgundy, number 588. I cut it because um, the smaller pieces give you more control when wrapping it around the stem.
To finish the cherry blossom, create a little fruit pouch using a small strip of tissue paper. For the final wrapping of the stem, you can use floral tape or the same dark khaki green paper as before. Mm -hmm. 